Welcome back to another video. In this video, for one reason or another, you want to be able to use your controller, whether it's a PS4 controller or an Xbox controller, and you want to run it on your Mass Effect 2 for your PC. Currently, Mass Effect 2 and 3 is supported for controller. Mass Effect 1, if it haven't, it will be soon. And I've been playing the Legendary Edition, and I'm loving it on the Xbox Series X. But I have not beaten the Mass Effect universe on the PC, long story short. Now, before I begin here, and I'm going to show you my configuration once it's set up. So let's just pretend like you're, uh, you prefer a controller over a PC or mouse, or over a keyboard or mouse. And you want to keep it simple, and you want to just be, a, if you're a console gamer, and you just want to just port over to the PC uh, without any kind of complications. That's what I'm going to show you guys in this video here. And I'm assuming that you guys obviously have your controller link via Bluetooth or whatnot. It's got to be linked to your um, your PC, first of all. And now we're going to configure this, and I'm going to show you how real quick. So for Mass Effect 2 on Steam, you're going to want to go to your settings, properties. Make sure these two are enabled checked here go to your controller go to controller general settings if you're using a playstation click on that i'm using my xbox so click on the have those two boxes checked and then it's going to ask you to update your driver or uh, it'll restart it and go ahead and restart that and it'll re it will reboot your um, pc once that's done just keep it simple just have the change this default to enable steam input and is recognizing my xbox controller here <coughs> excuse me once you have that you're gonna want to go into your settings again manage this controller configuration is going to pop up click on that and this is the configuration i have here so have this on joystick mouse, have this on uh, your, well, let's click on this. Have this on directional pad um, and I know I can back out, but uh, it doesn't show, but I'm just going to show you this. For this guy here, I have it on directional pad, analog emulation. So I'm trying to, I'm just trying to, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it um i'm just trying to simulate the xbox uh, console here with the controller settings trying to emulate the controller settings as if you were on a console and this one is directional pad and uh this doesn't really matter but I, I think it should be in four way. I'll just do that. And for this, you can change it, but for this joystick mouse here, and you, you know, you can adjust your sensitivity too on your mouse. Now for the output axis, leave it on both horizontal and vertical. You can change your haptic intensity but for your additional settings for me I play inverted so if I play since I play inverted I already inverted in the game itself so I'll leave this off and I let's load up this game real quick show you guys If you're using the controller, if you're using the controller, you can move it with the analog here, and it'll be trigger button here. Same thing with that one. Go to it, trigger button here.
and it should emulate what you would have if you were playing on the console and here we go Yep, and that is pretty much it. And that's how you configure your controller to work with Mass Effect 2 or 3 on your PC. And thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hoodie Dragons out. Mm -hmm.